everyone. Welcome to the Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Uh, today is May 4th, uh, 2023, and this is the EU US edition. Uh, today we have myself, Mark Waite, uh, and I think Bruno Varakton will be joining us. He was here briefly, but um, we'll most likely be reconnecting. Uh, the agenda is uh, fairly short today. Uh, right now, uh, the agenda includes, uh, there's an issue at the moment where the pipeline steps references uh, has some areas where the nested options and information is not present. Uh, Mark and I have been uh, reviewing this and investigating all morning. Uh, we were just talking about this. Um, we seem to have gotten down a time frame from when this happened. Uh, what exactly caused it, we don't know yet. We're still fig trying to figure that out. Um, but uh, it could have been in one of several different places, which is the biggest thing. Uh, so it could have been the pipeline step stock generator. Could be. Uh, it doesn't appear to be the Jenkins.io site. Uh, Mark has been able to figure out uh, that has a working and non-working repository. So uh, he does have uh, control to test out with. Um, but we're still looking into this and figuring this out. This is, uh, yeah, not ideal, of course. Um, but um, yeah, um, we'll go into that more. Uh, Google Summer of Code. Uh, so the only update here is that uh, they will be sharing their announcement for accepted projects today at 18 UTC. So keep an eye out for that. Really, really excited. And uh, yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for that and then further communication from the Jenkins project as well. Uh, I wanted to highlight that we just published uh, Bruno's latest blog post in his series on uh, Jen uh, Android development with Jenkins. Uh, so uh, really exciting stuff. It's really wonderful. And I just love being able to read the different uh, ways that this has been, that Jenkins has been utilized and seeing how uh, mobile app development can go through it. It's really cool. Uh, so definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, and one of the other blog posts I wanted to highlight that I don't have on the list here, but uh, CDCon is next week. So we have a blog post that shares and highlights a couple of the topic, the Jenkins uh, adjacent topics and the fact that Mark Waite is going to be uh, participating in a couple talks. So really excited to have that and have the representation there. Uh, something, a couple other things. So recently added book submission guidelines. This is something that I just figured we could put in and have uh, outlined there. We've gotten more book submissions lately. So having some guidelines is just some structure that we could use. Uh, the, la the most recent LTS, which was yesterday of 2.387.3 re released successfully. Uh, there are a couple of uh, interesting things, but we've noted them in the uh, 2.403 changelog. So uh, XML handling of null values is something that's going to change. Uh, and so just be aware of that. Again, we have uh, documentation, all sorts of stuff around these uh, and JIRA tickets, or uh, not JIRA tickets, sorry, GitHub, GitHub tickets that uh, provide more context as well. So uh, there's lots of information for that. Uh, the next LTS baseline right now is uh, currently voted as 2.401. Uh, that's scheduled for a May 31st release. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, more to come on that. Uh, and right now, uh, I'm working on a working on the Jenkins documentation to transition uh, installation guidelines, Java requirements, system requirements from Java 11 to Java 17 as the preferred method. Uh, we're still supporting Java 11. We just want to show people that Java 17 is the way to go and that it is uh, the future. So uh, faster testing, edge testing, um, functionality development, everything is just better in Java 17. So we want to encourage people to hop on that. Um, yeah, so uh, Mark, so I did want to spend more time on the pipeline steps reference since that uh, is relevant to what's going on today. Um, so, what would be the next steps that we could look at for this? Or um, I was, when I was trying to do some testing and figuring it out and backtracking, uh, I wasn't sure how I could potentially test some of the uh, pull requests on other areas like the docs um, step generator. Yeah, well, and I, so, sure. okay, so let's, let's describe first what I think we know, and maybe, maybe by writing those, I'm going to, I'm going to try to type some, some ideas here in terms of things that I think we know, right? So, yep. 
what we know, right, is the current current site shows um, no entries for the checkout step, or, or or no what what would you call it? No nested entries for the checkout step. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's that's our test case so maybe kevin what you want to do is open that up in your web browser so that we can see it together let's just look at it on the current jenkins site so jenkins.io sure. yeah. and this way it, we show it to each other and be sure we understand okay this is what's broken yep so pipeline uh, steps reference uh, search for the word checkout yeah and then that very bottom one notice that here nested choice of objects right is is very brief Whereas mm -hmm. in the actual production site or in the in the the working site, mm -hmm. and and now let's bring up let's bring up one that was working. Let's see, we had notes on one that was working, right? It was uh, yeah. I think it... uh, yeah, here's one. So this is yeah. So pull um... request six three two three. Its prototype yeah. site has this as its presentation of the SCM nested choice of objects. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get the screen so I can share it. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So this is uh, the deploy from six three two three. So we've got this is this is looks good, and then the mm -hmm. other one was the looks bad. Now what we see, what I, what I see in my development environment is, I've got a a working repository and a bad repository. The working repository and and the thing that generates this page, the thing that generates the content in this page, is this file all ASCII.zip. Maybe, maybe what we ought to try is, well, here's an idea. Okay, so we've got on my system, I've got two conditions: one that's good and one that's bad. Mm -hmm. And one theory is that the whole problem is in this data file called all ascii.zip that is generated by the pipeline steps doc generator right now that data file is the current data file size is about 290k in the broken state uh, that's good let's make a note of that okay so mm -hmm. um mark's working site working good working copy has a has has the master branch checked out so the current uh the current tip of the master branch but with an older all ascii.zip uh that's the pipeline steps doc generator data file sorry Mark, bruno that we're debugging live here no no but... problem oh my bad i was late because this is us struggling with what what is a really t terrible hit to the Jenkins documentation that we need to fix. But first, we got to understand what broke it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bad working copy has with the latest all ASCII.zip. Right, exactly. So current master branch with the latest all ascii.zip and now what i thought was what if i swap one for the other is it to try to confirm for us that the real difference between those two things is just exactly that one file all ascii.zip and then that means pipeline steps doc generator that creates that file is the thing we have to diagnose now, yeah. now the problem is I don't, I'm not expert enough on all of the detailed steps here. So it may be that moving those files around won't actually change anything because I don't know if all ASCII.zip is actually used during site generation or if it's unpacked once. Let's see, how would I guess that? Uh, Mark, as a side note, do you know if it's, do you know, um, if it's possible to extract like the date or date and time for the the older all ASCII zip, oh um, sure, absolutely. Because when we were looking at the two pull requests where it was good to bad, I think 
the time frame was very early on the 20 on the 25th and then very late on the 25th so mm-hmm. um if the older all ascii is from around that time frame that might point us in that direction yeah well so right. that's a, that's a good thing to check because i've got that i've got both files and mm-hmm. so let's look at so Kevin, I'm going to share my screen and we can yep. stare at the contents of the zip file together. Okay. All right. So looking at my screen here. So here's what I've got. I've got, oh, that's not useful. Oh, here. Nope. Where'd it go? Where's my terminal? There it is. Okay. So this has content underscore temp. I'll ask you dot zip is the, actually, let's just look at them. So the bad one mm-hmm. is in Jenkins IO bad. So the left-hand side, the one that's working is on the right-hand side. Mm-hmm. So now, and of course they're not sorted alphabetically by file name. So let's see, is there a way to sort them by file name? No. So when all else fails, we look at them side let's try to take it dot a doc here it's 893 here it's or oh, oops 89 so they are exactly the same size in in the two places mm-hmm. uh the one that oops reading again okay the one that provides workflow the workflow step what is that one that is help me out there kevin I, you've got it on your on your screen in the url it's pipeline if i look at the steps reference if i search for checkout check out here it is it's the pipeline as so workflow scm step so let's see if there's a difference between those two workflow SCM step 1290 94 well that's a difference okay all right that that gives me some hope right so here yeah. we've got in the working one a 94 k byte page and in the broken one we've got a 1290 byte page So, okay, so obviously there's a difference between good and bad. So really it is, it's got to be in the pipeline step stock generator. Okay, that's good. This means we don't have to spend time in this meeting. I can go separately and do diagnosis on pipeline step stock generator. That that already, thanks for the insights, because that already has shown this is, so if I, for instance, if we look inside this file, mm-hmm. Look at the look at the text there for checkout. Now, if I look inside this one, code. Okay, now let's. This is where I love my ediv. Ediv. Let's look from bad to good. So I'm going to put bad on. Well, let's do it this way. Ediv buffers from bad to good. Oops, got it backwards. Okay. Notice that the yellow block down at the bottom of the screen is addition, and it's enormous. Mm-hmm. So the nested choice, and, and we see it there, nested choice of objects has nothing beneath it. So, so okay, so the problem really is in whatever is generating that all ASCII.zip. Okay. That's, that's a very testable condition now. I can I can go do the do the bisect to find where all ASCII.zips workflow SCM step file is too small. Because that's that's what's happened, right? It's it's that in fact I should be able to even see it here. I've got two directories. Oh no, I don't apparently. Hmm. So but it's that's a that's a doable bisect. So what we need is workflow SCM step should be 90 kilobytes, not two kilobytes. Good. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Bruno.
I think we've got we've got a, a next step. And Mark, that um, the pipeline SEM uh, ADOC would not be coming from the plugin in this case, then. Well, no. Or it, it, actually, you you good point. It is coming from the plugin, but for some reason, the tool that extracts it from the plugin is no longer doing the extraction. Okay. So it's it's that something changed in the pipeline steps doc generator source code. So so the process that happens is the pipeline steps doc generator downloads all plugins, mm -hmm. extracts them all, and then pulls out their help files and formats them into ASCII doc. Mm -hmm. And somehow in that process of extracting and formatting to ASCII doc, this thing is being lost. Mm -hmm. And that, that loss has happened in a fairly recent change. And I, I say fairly recent because I, we, we, we saw the yeses and the nos in our in our earlier analysis, and there's some oddity there. But we got some rough timelines that we can use to check to see where where did the which change or changes to the pipeline step stock generator caused it to stop generating correctly, and and then we write some tests to be sure that this problem never happens again. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate that. And thanks for looking at that during Doc's office hours. That helps a lot. All right. Of course. Um, Bruno, uh, so since I know you were having some audio issues, is there anything that you wanted to share, bring up, put on the agenda, talk about today? No, thanks for asking, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Just want to make sure. Um, I did you. also highlight your newest uh, Jenkins and Android blog post since we just got that published the other day. Yeah, thanks um, for your help. And uh, yeah, always, of course. And then, um, yeah, we were just talking, we were just say, sharing that the Google Summer of Code announcement will be later. So um, thanks to you, Alyssa, John Mark, Chris Stern, for all your uh, work being org admins on that and uh, spearheading all this. Uh, everyone's very excited and um, can't wait for it. So yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, um, so that's all I had for the agenda today. If that covers everything for everyone, uh, we can go ahead and call it early today, no problem at all. Um, and yeah, thanks as always for joining. Uh, again, appreciate all the work and contributions and assistance and everything. So uh, take care, have a great rest of your day. See you later. The recording will be available in about 24 to 48 hours. Thank, Thank you. you.